I don't know anything about Auto Lisp, which is a programming language that you can use to create programs or just commands in AutoCAD. And still I managed to make a three point parallelogram like this one using ChatGPT, which created the program for me. I also don't know much about writing line type codes, which is again a different kind of code in AutoCAD. And still I managed to make this line type completely using line type code using ChatGPT. I also don't know anything about writing macros in AutoCAD, which is kind of like series of commands that will run one after another. And still I managed to create a new AutoCAD tool that will audit the drawing, purge it, save it and also close the drawing. And of course I did that using ChatGPT. So in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. Even if you don't know anything about these codes, macros and all these other advanced stuff, you can do that using ChatGPT. So with that, let's get started. All right, so for our first example, I'm going to create a parallelogram using Lisp routine. And we just want to provide the first three points and we want AutoCAD to figure out the fourth one. All right, let's do it using ChatGPT. So I'll open ChatGPT. Here it is. If you don't have a free account, go ahead, create it and then log in and you'll reach this kind of prompt screen. Now here you just need to be as descriptive as you can and just enter the prompt. So in my case, I'm going to type the prompt, create a four sided polygon using Lisp where the user is prompted to provide the first three points. And the fourth side is on the side of the first point so that the final shape makes a parallelogram. Okay, this is the prompt that I came up with. I'm going to press enter and let's see the result. And here is the result. So let's copy this code and I'm going to simply create a text file. So new text document double click this and let's copy and paste this. Now let's save it. So I'm going to click on save as and I'll call it a dot LSP. So LSP is the file format for Lisp routine. So click on save and we have this a dot LSP file. All right, let's open AutoCAD and I'll keep this window quite small so that we can drag it and drop it here. Now after dropping it, well, we've got a problem. It looks like we have an error here right out of the box which is error no function definition format. So let's update the prompt. It's showing error. The Lisp is for AutoCAD. Now we have the updated one. So copy this code and now let's paste it here. File save as and I'm going to call it b.lsp. Our second version, click on save and let's try it. So drag it, drop it. And here is the command that will activate this make parallelogram. All right. So let's now try that make P A R and there we are. The command is there. Press enter and we have the prompt enter the first point, then the second point and the third point. There we are. We have got this. Now the command is still active, but you can press escape and there it is. So it's as easy as that. Now, if you want to repeat this command, all you need to do is just type that make parallelogram, press enter and let's make one more parallelogram here. There it is. Press escape to escape this command. Now using this, you can also create several iterations of the similar kind of command or you can create in batches and combine all the Lisp routines to create a really big command. For example, if you want to create the elevation view of stairs with the prompt, that will just ask you for number of risers, treads, number of steps, or maybe you can just specify the total floor height and it will automatically figure out the number of steps and so on. And there are also several other use cases. Now here is the second use case. Now consider a situation where we want to audit our drawing, we want to purge it, and then we want to save it. So these are three different tasks that we want to do using just one command. And we can obviously do that one by one, but 
we can automate it using macros. Now, if you know how to use macros, which are basically series of commands that you can write in AutoCAD and AutoCAD will execute it, then that's great. But if you don't know, then you can ask ChatGPT to create the macro for you, which we are gonna do. So here in the ChatGPT, I'm gonna ask it to create the macro. So, all right, so here it is. Create an AutoCAD command macro that will audit the drawing, purge it, save it, and then close the drawing. Let's see what it's coming up with. All right, so this is the plain text version of it with the comments, which we don't want. So let's just change it a little bit. Create it in one line and one line. We just want a one liner. Of course, we don't want it in all these lines. So now we have the clean version. We don't have all these comments. Okay, so we are done. Now, all you need to do is simply copy this and paste it. But we have a problem here. So in this case, it may show some prompts for the user, which we don't want. But still, nonetheless, I'm going to go with this and then we'll fix the prompts later. So let's go to AutoCAD now, click on new. And here we're going to go to CUI. This Customize user interface is where we can create a new command. You can also go to manage and click on CUI interface here. Now here we have this star icon, just click on it and that's gonna create a new command called command one. Let's rename this. So you can rename it here as well if you want and I'm gonna call it power save. Okay, that's the name of our new command and this is where we will add the macro. So. I'll just delete this or maybe I'll just click on this ellipsis and right here we'll add that macro which we copied from ChatGPT. Now press escape and just press backspace just to remove that extra space character. Click OK and we have this added. Now we just need to ensure that it is added somewhere in the user interface to make it work. But before we do that, we also need to add an icon which is completely blank. So maybe I'll scroll down this list of icons and from here I'll select an icon for this. It looks like this tick is going to work. So I'm going to select this. And if you are satisfied with this, great. If not, you can change it, but I'll stick with this. All right, apply. So this is done. Now let's add this power save, maybe on the quick access toolbar, which is this bar here. So I'll expand this, I'll expand the first bar, then I'll drag this power save and I'll add it here. So power save is added here. Now it looks like from my previous test, we have this test macro. So I'll just select it and remove it. So now we only have this power save, apply and okay, done. So we have this power save added here. Now let's make something here. Let's just first save it somewhere on the desktop maybe. So sample, all right, this is saved. All right, and now we are modifying our drawing. We are making some changes and then we want to power save it. So click on this and there it is. As you can see, it's prompting for purge, which we don't want. We obviously want it to purge, but automatically. So let's go to chat GPT and tell it that we don't want user prompts. Don't prompt for user input. So there it is. Now we have a completely different command here and hopefully this won't prompt. So. Let's copy this code and let's modify it in the CUI. So go to CUI and here we are. We have got the power save and here is the macro and just copy and paste it here. Click OK and apply and OK again. All right, let's test it. So I'll click here and it looks like it is still prompting. So let's just specifically tell it that it should stop prompting for purge. OK, so now let's see what it's going to come up with. Okay, so we have this modified version of it. Let's copy this. And once again, let's go to CUI and power save. And here we're going to save it. All right, click OK and apply and OK. All right, let's test it one more time. So I'll click on power save and it's still prompting. All right, and here's the updated version. So once again, now there are a few back and forth iterations that you just need to do. And this is completely normal and that's how it is supposed to be done. So you won't get the right result the very first time, but after a few iterations, you will eventually get there. All right, so after several iterations, as you can see, there are a few more prompts that I added. I've reached this one, which I'm sure is going to work because I tested it. So let's now copy this and let's modify this. So again, I'm gonna go to CUI and power, all right, and here we are. 
So let's copy paste this, remove the space character, apply this and close it. All right, so here we are. Now let's run it. So there it is, it's working perfectly. Now it not only ran the audit, purge and save command, but also it closed it finally. So if I, let's say, want to work on this drawing even further, I'll maybe make it like this. And then again, instead of saving it normally, I'll simply click on my power save button and it's gonna run all these commands for us and it will also close the drawing. So that's how you can do it. Now let's look at the third example. So here we'll make a custom line type. Basically we'll make line type that represents gas pipeline. And for that, well, we'll create line type code in chat GPT. So let's give it a prompt. So here I'll simply type this, create a line type code for AutoCAD line type that contains a line of length five unit, then gap of one unit, then the text GAS, and then again, a gap of one unit. So that's how the line type is going to look like, which is pretty much like this. So I'll press enter and here is the code. Now this is certainly not the right kind of code that I'm looking for. So I'll just click on regenerate. Now, if you want, you can try this exact same code, but I know that this is not going to work. So I'll just regenerate it again. Now this looks more like it, but still I'll regenerate it because we can just have it in just two lines. So I'll regenerate it and I'll regenerate it again. Now this is more like it. So this is the code that I think should work. By the way, I've explained all about making custom line types using Express tool and line type codes in this SourceCAD course. It is linked in the description down below. And also there is a ton of valuable information about making custom hatch patterns, importing it, exporting it from one AutoCAD drawing to another. And once again, it's in the same course, which is linked down below in the description. In my case, I am already regenerating it just by looking at the code, but you can give it a shot. You can try the first five iterations of this code and try if they're working or not. If not, you can ask ChatGPT to make the corrections and then you'll have the proper code. In this case, it's not very much kind of a foolproof code yet, but let's see if it's working or not. So I'm going to go to this text document and I'll paste it here and let's save as on desktop, I'm going to call it a.lin. Now, lin is the line type file. So save it. Now let's go to AutoCAD. And here I'll load that lin file. So I'll go to the drop down, other, click on load. And right here, I'll select the lin file, which is on the desktop. So select and open. And it looks like we now have that line. So click OK. And the line type is loaded as well. So click OK. And we can now apply that line type on any object. So maybe on this line, I'll select it and I'll apply the line type. There it is. Not only that, you can even change the scale of this line type. So you can select it, right click, go to properties. And here I'll change the scale to maybe 0.4. And there we are. So it's updated. So that's how you can create custom line type. Now, once again, if you are not satisfied with the way it looks, for example, the text is not centered then you can ask ChatGPT to recreate it with the corrections. So after a few iterations, you'll get the proper code that's going to work exactly the way you want. And of course, you don't need to learn this line type code or hatch code for making these custom objects. So that was all about using AI tools like ChatGPT to do things in AutoCAD that actually won't be possible without knowing all about auto lisp, macros, line type codes, hash codes, and so on. Now let me know in the comments down below if you've used chat GPT to make your AutoCAD workflow easier. Also, what should be the next video you want to see on SourceCAD? Share it in the comments area and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.